Sagittarius. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Tip Talks 22. This is going to be you guys' love readings. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat. Saggies, I'm seeing one man. He might be kind of a trick, right? Or he could just be materialistic, but he's showing up with gifts, right? Likely an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial energy. Um, not necessarily, but could be, right? So somebody who kind of let, lets their money speak for them in relationships. But it's one man and two women. Two, maybe three, but two women, okay? This person is somebody who is here for a good time, not a long time with one of these women. Sagittarius, I feel like this person is you because this masculine is connected, like, to someone else, right? But he also, like, enjoys pretty things, pretty young things. Doesn't have to be young, but I just saw one more one on the clock. Um... <clears throat> So, like, they are they are somebody who kind of operates in their lower vibration. <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah. And it's showing up that you have either walked away from this person or you're needing to walk away from this person. Um, because there is an emotional need here that is not being met in this relationship. I don't know if you guys are... Like, just have clashed energy. This is the case for, like, the past or the recent past here. Like, energies clash. You may have already moved on from this person. Because something about this relationship was leaving you feeling, like, either not good about yourself. Because you could be dealing with a narcissist. You could be dealing with somebody, like I said, who is low vibrational. You could be dealing with somebody who may be superficial, right? Like, they don't think with their big brain, um, their big head. <laughs> yeah. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is controlling, who is my way or the highway. Um, and again, somebody who may be also in another commitment. But this is a situation that is not fair to you in one way or the other. And it's leaving you feeling unhappy in the partnership or the relationship. I do feel like you've seen this. You've noticed this. You've realized this in the past. And... Um, yeah, like what you thought of this person or what you expected from this relationship. Like there has been either a, it doesn't have to be sudden, but it could have been like a sudden realization that this person or this situation or the way that things are or the fact that this person ain't changing what they doing um, is not enough for you. It's not going to work for you. All right. So there's an eclipse energy here where it's like the, the true essence of this person has been revealed to you or made clear and they are likely because you guys know eclipse is nature scissors energy uh something has been revealed that made you want to cut this person out of your life so either you've already done that or you're needing to do that or you're contemplating doing that i don't feel like this is a cont contemplation i feel like this is done because this is the past energy okay <clears throat> so i feel like you're back to moving back to this space where you are trying to um like I don't want to say get your bearings, but just do what is best for you, what's for your highest good, what's for the highest good of everybody involved, right? Even if that means you trying to detach from this person or this situation. Some of you are just trying to focus more on and give more attention to maybe friendships, um, socializing, maybe even family, but people and relationships that make you feel good, okay? Um, your overall energy, which I'm going to bring out in the extended reading on Patreon, if you guys don't know, Patreon has this new feature where even if you don't want to join the, the like the monthly membership, you can purchase the readings individually. Um, those are like three dollars because that's as low as they would let me set that price. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so check your extended out over there. But even in that, your overall energy is the blossom card, which in that's an oracle deck. So in traditional tarot, that would be the judgment card. The judgment is all about awakening, realizing something, so that you can release and let go of what you need to let go of what is not serving you. And I feel like for you guys, it is or has been this relationship. Because like I said, there was something that wasn't being, that wasn't fulfilling for you in this partnership. I do feel like there is like some divine orchestration to this realization. 
right? Like, um, Spirit been dropping signs like big trucks on your head and whatnot. <laughs> I feel like that's the case. But whatever the case, um, there's like a shift of mindset clarity here where you're like, oh, I know I need to get away from this person or I need to get out of this, this situation, right? Yeah. So I feel like whoever it is I'm speaking to today, you are single or newly single, but it's not like necessarily that you wanted that to be the case. So I feel like you're in the process here of adjusting to that. You guys may be the type who clings to a partnership or like a codependent energy in some way. Yeah, I do feel like there was like, hey, it feels like there was a real unhealthy attachment to this person or this partnership or this. I, it ain't a marriage, but it feels like a situation ship. That's how, how we would describe it. Like, we not together, but we understand that this is the dynamic, right? That kind of thing. However, I feel like you, somebody wanted more in this than the other because the because somebody is tied to somebody else. Point blank, period. Okay? So I feel like it's been difficult for you to let go of this toxic connection because it's almost like having an addiction. I feel like you're still holding on to some type of hope or you may be seeing or viewing this man, this masculine energy as somebody who is or should be your husband or it could just, yeah, but you're on the fence about it. But no, you're not on the fence. This is what you want. However, you and this person are not on the same page. And it could be because y'all's vibrations ain't the same or this person just... They're showing up as an ass. Let me just say it that way. <laughs> this person is, uh, yeah. And it's like, it feels like, like they're egotistical. They may be cocky. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like this for nobody. Okay. At all. This could be something that, you know, you ignored. But this is definitely somebody who is not willing to make a decision or a choice. This is somebody who is going to. Do the thing that makes that they feel makes them look good, right? Meanwhile, I see somebody over here, Sagittarius, this this feels like your energy. Now, take it as it resonates for you, because you could be the the ass that I'm talking about, and the other two people could be, you know, choices that you need to make, right? Either way, somebody here in this dynamic, pick your pick your position, is uh waiting on this person that they have all of this, all of these emotions for, right? They're waiting on this person, but they're likely over giving to this person. So it's kind of creating a codependent dynamic. And it's leaving you unhappy because it's like, I'm waiting on them to decide what they want to do. Spirit is saying, take some time. Take some time away from this relationship. Step back. Step back from this relationship at least. Um, if not romantic relationships altogether, so that you can spend some time in self-reflection, in solitude, so you can really see this situation without the rose-colored glasses. Yeah, this is definitely a third-party situation. This is definitely something that's left you feeling defeated. It's definitely been, or there are some, some emotional upsets, feelings of betrayal, disappointment, loss, and sadness here, right? But the good that's coming from this is going to be a shift in mindset for you. Maybe where you are working more on your own sense of self-worth, self-esteem, self self-love, self self-confidence, all the things with that Ace of Cups showing up. And it's going to allow you to open up to a new relationship, but with the foundation of self-love there. It's almost like being shown, like, this is my lesson. I'm learning this situation, right? I'm learning, I'm learning how to deal with this situation, how to move in this situation. Yeah. Oh, we love that. Some of you may choose to be celibate for some time. You may have already decided that. In the future. Like, I'm not going not gonna, to uh, have this physical exchange before a foundation of friendship, partnership is developed. Because it's like, yeah, I don't want to sabotage my next partnership and relationship. I just don't. And I feel like in the meantime, you are focusing on yourself. Some of you are focusing on your own energy of stability, self-sufficiency. All the selves, too, that I just spoke of previously. 
Yeah, some of you are, your intuition is, is getting clearer and you are having the courage to really like visualize the type of partnership or relationship that it is that you desire. So that's what's going to come from if you haven't already closed the door on this relationship, which I feel like you have. Um, but if you have it, that is what's going to come from you letting go of this situation. All right. Hold on. Let me see something. This, this feels pretty short. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. So I, I feel, yeah, I feel like this, this has been something that was kind of difficult for you to swallow initially. Right. It's like, this is not what I want to, or have wanted to hear or had hoped for. Um, y'all already know I'm used to being the one to deliver those types of messages. <laughs> I think it's a, a part of my life purpose. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be the messenger. But yeah, I feel like it's helping you to look at something differently. So I don't know what is this page spirit. I don't. Mm. It's helping you to look at something differently. Yeah, you guys are kind of uh, looking at how you love yourself, your energy, energy or ability to be independent and also actively love on you. Okay, you are done fighting for imbalanced partnerships and relationships or situations that aren't fulfilling. If you are not, you're being guided to be done with it. Okay, and to essentially stop sabotaging yourself. Right, because when we fight for relationships that are not reciprocal, that don't offer us the honor and the type of respect that we deserve and desire, it is self sabotage. I do feel like some of you, uh, absolutely, some of you feel you know that you have been deceived. You may feel that you've been deceived by the other person, but this feels like an energy where it's almost you breaking your own heart. Because some of you in this in this situation, it's like um, this person was supposed to leave the other person or this person was going to get out of that situation or relationship. And they have not done it because they were happy, content, complacent and fulfilled by having both partnerships. But that's going to leave somebody in a three way. Right. Feeling unfulfilled. I do feel like, though, in the future, part of your advice as well, your guidance is to be open to and having faith, have faith on this new start or this new beginning, because that's what this is going to lead to for you. Focus on the positive relationships that, like I said, um, offer you this love and support. Allow yourself to be social and to have these friendships and focus on building and enjoying those as you kind of move through this space. And don't lose hope, because I feel like part some of y'all right now... Yeah, just feel like uh, life ain't fair for me. I'll never, I'll never have a partner. But no, you absolutely have the ability to manifest the type of relationship that you are meant to have. A lot of times, though, yeah, absolutely. But it starts with that foundation of love and self-love. And also, I feel like part of your lesson in this is to take things slowly. So I feel like you guys are on somewhat of a healing journey still. And you may feel like you're not making progress, but I assure you, you are making progress. Spirit just, I feel like, wants to make sure before you move forward that your mindset is where it needs to be. Where it's like, you ain't taking no BS. You're not settling for this. Woe is me. Um, uh, allowing yourself to stay in this victim energy. They really want to give you an opportunity to learn from this. So instead of saying... Um, I can't believe that happened to me, or I can't believe this person did it, did this to me. Spirit is wanting you to look at this from a different perspective. And that perspective is, su is supposed to be, what was this situation trying to teach me? What am I supposed to learn from this, this particular um, situation here? And it's so crazy. I saw a slide before I, fin before I started y'all's reading. I saw a slide that said something very similar. So that's crazy that that, that, that just popped into my head. Because I, I was procrastinating doing other stuff. So it had been a little while <laughs> before I uh, came here to do y'all's reading. But then Spirit sent that woodpecker over there like, okay, get your ass back to the room. <laughs> like, for real, that happened. A real woodpecker. Um, but, yeah, so um, I feel like you guys will be moving forward as you heal and as you kind of look for the lesson in this situation. But you're also, I feel like the next step here is for you to really visualize and get clear about the type of partnership that you want. Um, I posted a video yesterday, and it wasn't even about romantic love. But I remember the caption 
or, or, or something I posted on the video said, what are your deal breakers? So I feel like that's going to be your next step, deciding what your deal breakers are, what it is you will and won't settle for. And also simultaneously <sighs> loving on you, loving Sagittarius. That could be through affirmations. That could be through mirror work, right? Where you're looking in the mirror and you're speaking positivity over yourself, telling yourself what you love about yourself, encouraging yourself every day, every morning, and surrounding yourself with people who match that energy as well. Yeah, so I feel like um, you guys are being guided right now. Yeah, to close the door on certain situations. Be sure that you are not romanticizing any type of partnership and that you are not sitting stuck waiting on something to happen. Because here's the thing. While you are in this space where you are trying to kind of get your mind, wrap your mind around being open to the next relationship or a relationship in general, what you do in that phase of waiting is so so important it is going to be the determining factor to how and when you move forward okay are you ready to move forward in order to do that you are going to yeah in order to manifest happiness a relationship where you are content you are going to yeah first of all you have to say no to third-party relationships because you guys yourselves want to be the wife you guys want to be this empress energy. You guys want this ideal partnership. But you are in a space right now with that hangman. And so there are some things that you need to take note of. Are you feeling fulfilled in this partnership? Not just sexually, not just financially, emotionally. If you are not, it is time for some reevaluation and really allowing yourself to process your feelings in order to break these cycles here. I do feel like um, some of you have already started this, but more of you haven't gone deep enough. <laughs> okay, so there's like more clarity to have. Yeah, firmer boundaries to be set between you and this person. Some emotional maturing to do as well, because some of y'all, it's not that you don't want to cut this person off. You may have cut them off, but you still... Like, check their social media, or you still text them every now and then, or you still receive or entertain their text messages, something like that. Yeah, and it's affecting your ability to heal, okay? Fully, completely. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like there will be more revelations for you guys. Meditation it may be important. You may be also having some types of dreams that are giving you this type of clarity. Listen, sis or brother, whoever it is I'm talking to. This is not your person. This is not your person. Okay? And you're being guided to trust that who is for you is going to be for you. You will know it and you won't feel bad in that relationship. You won't feel bad in that partnership. It won't feel one-sided like you're the one doing all the work. You will be able to walk away from this person. Does it mean you're going to have to start over with someone else? Absolutely. But guess what? You're going to start over with you first. There's also a need for you guys to forgive yourselves um, for what it is that you either allowed or tolerated for however long that you did. Yeah. Forgive yourself for that. We learn as when we when we need to. Essentially, we learn when we need to, when we have to, when it's made clear for us, for us, and revealed to us. <coughs> right? I feel like you guys are going through like a spiritual awakening kind of energy, and so you may be seeing lessons in some of everything, whether that be in video post, post of different slides, or um, different truth speakers, different reels, friends, friendships, whatever the case is. Don't resent or hold on to any anger about the past situation. Because everything that's being shown or revealed to you now is to help you to grow. Don't allow your heart to be hardened or to be resentful towards this person. I know that's easier said than done. Because you want to blame them, right, for being a liar, for being a cheater. But I also feel like you guys are blaming yourselves for what it is that you didn't see or didn't realize or didn't pay attention to. The, the quicker you let all of that energy go, 
the more room you have to welcome in love, love of self and love to and from others. All right. I hope this is helpful, guys. We're going to do your extended reading. I'm interested to see what's coming up because I feel like I said a mouthful right there. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll see. I'll see you on that side. Bye bye.